we got some smoke coming out and uh, some burning smell a little bit there hopefully that's just uh, well guys it's the final episode for this uh, heat store uh, garage heater installation and guess what guys today we have just received our horizontal vent kit that we'll be installing to complete this product here this installation that we're doing right now uh, the product's a little bit beat up in the process but I think it should be okay because it was packaged nicely inside and uh, guess what guys before we get started here I would like to thank our sponsor uh, heat star by Enerco decided to actually sponsor me in this process it's uh, such a great help uh, to get this company here a great company to actually sponsor me for this process without them It would have been hard for me to be able to actually get this full installation going. So anyways guys They have sent me uh, this uh, vertical vent kit and uh, it's a stainless steel one that we'll be installing up here So without further ado Listen. Stay tuned I just want to show you guys what I have here. Um, basically, it's the trial and error on trying to place the um, uh, where the hole is going to be uh, on the wall here, uh, based on the proximity of uh, the, um, the exhaust here. I fitted the uh, the, the pipe uh, that we have down below, and uh, and test fitted it, and see how uh, it basically sits on the wall here. So what I've done here really is that uh, marked where the, the the pipe's going to be, considering the uh, uh, the pitch that we have uh, going out uh, for the uh, moisture there, and it's this uh, baby here, and uh, measured um, where uh, the exact location will be, and I'm going to start cutting um, using the outer diameter, of course, uh, which is this one right here, uh, the outer di diameter here. That's going to be to fit uh, this one in the process. So it's a little hard because uh, I'm, I'm way up here and trying to make some video at the same time. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky here, guys. But anyways, um, I found where the stud is and I, I did a test cut. It looks like I can go that, that far uh, on the wall so I can pretty much cut around and uh, have uh, about, uh, um, about a quarter of an inch um, left there to, as a wiggle room in the process. I'm gonna cut around this. Use the marker here to make a mark and see. Yeah. I need some light. So that way we know exactly where we're gonna do our cutting here. So uh, here we go.
drill right in the middle and then uh, we'll see where it's gonna be uh, leading in the back or the outside there sorry for the shakiness here guys but uh, you guys get the idea anyways that's the actual outside wall now I made a mark there it's just a basis and I'm gonna use my saw to cut around that well now I put the mark on the center there's an approximate center here guys and uh, basically I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle and uh, we'll see where this leads us to uh, based on the outside there guys. Our uh, pilot hole is drilled through now. I'm going to go outside and see where this is located and uh, hopefully it's in the right position there. There you go guys, that's where the pilot hole is. It's in the perfect location technically there away enough away far away enough from my camera and at the same time it's away from my utility here uh, uh where the main valve is so that's uh by the code has to be at least uh that far i guess four feet or so away from it so yeah uh i'm just gonna drill the hole as i'm uh i'm gonna use a saw there my milwaukee saw to uh, cut this out and uh, we'll go from there. This is what I did guys, I basically just, uh, you know, did a uh, few cuts around the uh, circumference uh, and uh, I'll go outside and just continue the cuts from there and uh, just the basis there for sure so I don't overcut. I want to mention guys that uh, you truly need to put that grease um, the dialectic grease that they come with the product and apply it to the uh, uh, every joint basically uh, there's this rubber seal that needs to be lubricated in the process plus it's gonna be easier to uh, put on and, and also remove if you uh, make a mistake <laughs> Pretty much ready to uh, install our piping here guys uh, as you can see we got our uh, cutout all in place and um, yeah and uh, before we do so I, I would like to actually do some um, a little bit of the leak test on our um, our piping here making sure that there's no leak because once I have my uh, uh, piping in place it'll be a lot harder and, and it, harder to to see exactly uh what i'm trying to do here before and so anyways i'm gonna do the leak test first before i put on the or install the the piping uh of uh the unit this will be the first time to turn this valve on technically here don't hear any hissing or anything 
that's a good sign. Let's start from the bottom here. In the main, just making sure. Basically spray on our um, soapy water and see if there's any bubble coming out. I'm not seeing any anything bubbling guys which is a good sign yeah I'm pretty happy with the result here guys I don't see any anything leaking in this case triple check double check everything here I'm not seeing anything that's bubbling around. So uh, I should say we're safe to go. I'm definitely gonna keep checking here for sure. I'm gonna open the unit up as well to see if uh, in the connection over here, uh, any leaks coming out. But uh, yeah, no, looking really good. Uh, I even checked uh, the, the other parts that I didn't touch just to make sure. And it looks like we're all good here, guys. Based on our instruction here, basically we will be putting this um, um silicone here high temp high temperature silicone and uh, we'll be putting a an unstop bid of silicone around the perimeter here just past the bolt uh, uh holes basically uh it has to be um unbroken um, bid uh of of, of silic silicone uh, around and then we'll be putting our um, adapter here shortly and have that be bolted in and then we'll work through and complete our uh, exhaust system and we'll, we'll work our way out this way and see we're not going to fasten everything yet um, but once we get everything situated we'll then fasten everything going forward <music> done technically here guys and uh, we'll definitely just have to seal and put this in place uh, put a silicone there to uh, seal it in as well around the uh, the the pipe there uh, likewise on the other side as well I'm gonna show you how it is on the other side this is how here. it's looking like guys on this other side here as you can see uh, again um, I'm gonna just uh, secure the uh, um, what do you call it, the square uh, plate uh, on the wall there pretty soon. Uh, I might actually, what I'll do is I'll cut the, um, the actual uh, 
sightings in the process and make that uh, uh, fascia even more or that plate even more flush. We got a bit of silicone around that, guys, and I'm gonna fasten that plate over there. I see, as you can see, I've, I've drilled some holes. It's now in place. The uh, inside plate here has been uh, fastened nicely. I'll be putting a, a, a bit of um, silicone around the pipe again, just to seal uh, everything up, so that way there's no, um, uh, you know, it's all basically sealed. It's done, guys. And uh, we're gonna try and fire it up for the first time and see how it goes. And I'll plug the baby in. And put on our um, gas, turn it on, just sniff, sniff, just make sure that there's no leak whatsoever. And um, let's see how the thermostat is here, guys. Try and put it up to. Possibly the regulator or so, just warming up. That's starting to fire up there, guys. The burner is going on now. Pretty exciting. There she goes. I can feel some heat. For the first time, guys. We got some smoke coming out and uh, some burning smell a little bit there. Hopefully that's just, uh, you know, a burning stage on the system. Yeah, we can definitely feel some heat, guys. That's for sure. I uh, opened the, the door here for now because I'm smelling a bit of a burning smell. So maybe that's just an adjustment on the uh, unit here. It's running for the first time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Basically, we're all done here. Our uh, furnace is working just fine. Uh, now it's just cranking and trying to uh, uh, get up to the temperature that I have set it to. And uh, hopefully here we can be at around the, uh, the 21, 25 degrees Celsius in the process. So I could definitely do some work here in the garage uh, from now on, because I have uh, many pending, um, uh, you know, repairs to do and services to do. Uh, coming up, uh, I'll be doing um, the B1 service on the Honda Pilot and as well the 130 kilometer uh, uh, service on the VW Jetta as well. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Uh, from now on, I'll be able to do some work here in the garage. I'm so excited. I'm very excited that now I have this furnace uh, up here that will make the place more warm and cozy for me uh, in the winter time to do work and you know guys it's it's a lot quieter than than my furnace that I have on the first uh, uh, HQ guys uh, if you remember my first garage uh, my two-car garage with the furnace inside it's a little noisy uh, in this case I don't know I'll, well, we will see once I get to see this video how, how loud the uh, the machine is so it's fairly quiet guys, I don't see any problem here. I, I could feel uh, such a warm uh, air coming out. Um, it is still in the uh, adjustment period. Uh, the machine is warming up, it's burning the uh, internals. Uh, so I could smell a little bit of um, paint being burnt and, and things like that uh, in the process. But I, hopefully that smell will, di the, will disappear at some point. I'm also up in my bonus room now and just to test to see how well my 
my vibration dumper is doing you know i can't you know i can i can hear it but very faint so nothing i don't know if you can you guys can pick it up uh in the camera or in the mic here but guys but um yeah, there is a faint sound, but very, very little. I mean, I can barely hear it. So looking good, guys, looking good. We're pretty warm in here now, guys. It's finally finished. It's now working. It's now started up and uh, it's warming the place up pretty well. I had set it to around the 21 degrees Celsius and it's still cranking and making this place a lot warmer than it used to. Uh, just earlier, guys, I was wearing winter jacket in here. Um, you know, it's an adjustment period in the process. Uh, there is a bit of smell coming out of the air there. It's like a burning smell. Hopefully it's just basically an adjustment period where, you know, it's just burning all the, the burner smell in the whole nine yards inside. So uh, other than that, everything is sealed. I, I, I pretty much placed the, uh, the uh, high temp um, sealant in there as well. And I'm gonna show you guys, uh, as you can see, there's the sealant in place now. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it's all uh, sealed, no air coming from outside. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy uh, the warm temperature that we have in here. I'll be able to definitely do more uh, work in here without uh, suffering from the winter. And um, you know, guys, uh, too, too many pending um, parts to be installed and repairs uh, or service uh, for few vehicles there. So stay tuned.